<laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Place is a floating death trap. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck.
Olsen, il y a une porte ici. OK, all of you, into the room. What is this fucking place? Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. No shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool? What happened here? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a.m. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. What do you think this ship was? Great. Of all the places... This was ripped off. What's going on? Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? 
Yeah, I mean, Homeboy was probably just going a little nuts being away from his girl for so long. Heck, that'd make me start seeing things too. Yeah. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted? Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? The way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. Take a look. Any luck? I 
can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Oh, shit. You're right. The mystery of the smelling socks punch. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow?
spooky. Just hope for the best, okay? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. This place is fucking massive.
Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. Yeah, quelqu'un? Yeah. I guess it's not really such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Ok. Qui est là Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Faster. I got this. Uh. 